Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of my demon gift pack review. If you haven't seen part 1 be sure to give it a look. In this part I use the active super cleaner, the spray on shine and the wet look tyres. So now time to dry the car. Now you can use a chamois leather but I actually prefer to use a microfiber cloth or a drying towel. Um, I did actually buy two drying towels and it, in my experience they weren't very good so I actually just use a bog standard uh, microfiber cloth and, and that works pretty well. I actually got a set of them for Christmas from my darling wife so thank you very much. They do come in pretty handy. Right, so try to be nice and gentle when you're doing this, just real nice pat the car down. You don't need to be too aggressive. It will take a little, little bit longer because it's not particularly warm today. Let's really get the surface area at its best. Just nice gentle pat downs really just to get the car dry without any real streaking because streaking is nasty particularly on a darker car like this nobody wants streaks <laughs> so the car is virtually dry now time to clean the window so so for this i will be using the active super cleaner so let's read the instructions which once again are pretty straightforward uh, i won't do the advertising blurb this time uh, direction one shake the bottle well before use there we are uh, what's next uh, uh, spray sparingly onto surface and wipe over with a soft cloth and then uh, number three polish off with a soft clean cloth. So once again, I've got a trusty microfiber cloth for the job. So I will use the green side to get the dirt off and the gray side to buff it out. So there's no nasty streaks. So let's spray it on like so. There we go. Don't really need to use too much. He says, put in quite a lot on and give it a good old wipe. There we go, looking so much better. Be sure to lift up the wipers to get underneath there as well. There we are, looking like a million dollars. Okay, more like a million pennies, but you know what I mean. Let's come around and do this side. There we are. Yeah, I can tell the windscreen was dirty because the green side of this cloth is rapidly becoming more of a brownie colour. So, yes, the car was in desperate need of a good old clean. And there we are, looking very good. Let's go around to the other side. On to the next product. Up, stoop down here can you see me there we are just about so you've got the uh, spray on shrine which i have here so I read the instructions um right let's see spray on demon shrine well yep yeah, that's quite obvious um wipe over with a microfiber cloth until the solution disappears and number three that's it do nothing step back and admire the shiny car so this is a very easy product to use now normally I do prefer to use a polish, um, but this is a quicker and easier way of doing it. So I, I, I normally tend to use this product if I'm going to a car show and I just need to give uh, the MX-5 a quick spruce up and make her a bit more sparkly. There we are. Really spray it on. I won't do the whole bonnet to begin with. I will just simply do this side. Right. Yeah, this stuff smells super sweet. Now, the, the instructions do say, try not to get it onto the windscreen. So I will be very careful not to do that with the edges of the cloth. So as you can see, I'm just kind of working it into the car. In all honesty, I think I put a bit too much on because this is requ requiring a bit more wiping than I would have, would have anticipated. So let's come back to that side. That side should start to kind of haze out, which it is, particularly on 
this side. Let's move on to the right hand side. I'll try not to use so much uh, this time. That's probably enough. Oh, that stuff smells so good. I almost want to drink it. Don't drink it guys, that would be very stupid. Health and safety and all that jazz. Please do not drink any of the fluid because I'm pretty sure it's not very good for you. Right, well, mind that out of the way. Got a transit pulling in, a transit, as we would say in South London, which is where I am from. <laughs> Right, so the spray-on shrine has been fully applied to the car and hopefully you'll agree with me, she is looking fantastic. You can see the Montego blue paint work properly, the alloys which were bronze are now back to their gold colour and I would like to show you my big shiny tip. No, come on guys, come on, no, not that one. Of course I mean my exhaust pipe, look at that. Oh. I must admit, my exhaust hasn't looked that good in quite some time. Look at that, look at the reflections. Ooh, hello. Whoa, hello, you sexy little thing. Right, so, I'm almost done, which is just as well, because I'm starving, absolutely starving. Two more things I need to do. I need to apply the wet look tires, although the tires kind of look wet already because the car, well, the tires are wet, but you get what I mean, and of course, most importantly, the air freshener, the new car, Mighty Oak air freshener. Right, anyway, that is to come. Time to apply the wet look tires. So let me get the product, which is just over here. Pick it up like so. Right, let's start with this alloy. Right, let's have a look at the instructions. I'll tell you one thing I like, I'm not too sure whether um, car plan have done it on purpose but I like the fact that each product has got its own colour liquid so you don't really have to look at it you know once you've uh, got to know the products and recognise them you can just pick it up without having to look at the label because it's quite clear um, you know each um, uh, product has, has got its own colour so I do find that's really handy that might just be by coincidence or they may have done that on purpose I, I don't know right so anyway let's have a look at the instructions Common auto focus, you can do it. There we go. Uh, right, okay, so shake the bottle well for use, apply liberally to the walls and allow product to dry before driving. Um, and just a bit, bit of health and safety, do not spray onto tire treads, brake components, windows, windscreens, or control pedals. Uh, do not use on cycle or motorcycle tires, uh, clean up spillages and overspray immediately using a strong detergent. Oh, I almost fell backwards then. Um, test brakes before driving, store in an upright position and secure when transported. There we are, that's the health and safety. Oh, just dropped it. That's the health and safety blurb out of the way. Right, give it a good old shake. Uh, shake it like a Polaroid picture. There we go. Right, so do need to be a little bit careful how I do this because I don't want to um, spray it on a component that I shouldn't do. So really easy guys, just literally spray it on. And there we are, the tyres, well, they look wet, uh, as you would imagine. Right, let's go around and do the others. There we are, the tyres looking very wet, but the PS de resistance is of course the air freshener. Right, the car is locked, I think. Oh no, it's unlocked. Smashing. Ugh. Right, let me flip you guys around. 
That is a horrible angle. There we go. Right. Things don't get any more exciting than this. I am opening an air freshener. My heart is pounding with the anticipation. Oh, right. Hang freely. Well, yes, obviously. Look at that. Would you like to see my mighty oak? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Right, moment of truth. It smells okay. I, I won't tell, I'm not overwhelmed by the smell. And does it smell like new car? See, I'm, I'm thankfully in the position where I drive new cars quite often. So I'm probably the best judge of uh, this air freshener. Give it, give it a big old whiff. <clears throat> does it smell like new car? Honestly, to my nose, no, it doesn't. It, it just, it simply uh, smells fresh. It doesn't smell bad, but does it smell like new car? No, it doesn't. Um, it's not quite as nice. Exciting times hanging an air freshener from my rear view mirror. There we are. Mighty Oak, new car, uh, new car smell. Right, so that is pretty much mission accomplished. So the car is fully clean. Normally I would whack a cover over her, but because I am driving her tomorrow, it seems a little bit redundant. Unfortunately, I don't have the opportunity to store this car in a garage, so it has to be left outside of my uh, dedicated parking bay. But yes, to sum up, the car is very clean. Would I recommend the Demon gift pack? Yes, I would. I've just banged my head on the um, hard top. <laughs> um, yes, I would. I think for what it is, it is a very good kit. It is good value. Uh, and I think if you are a casual car cleaner or if you are uh, an enthusiast who wants to look after your car, it is a good kit. However, if you are a bit more serious on the car cleaning side, for example, if you do detailing, you may find this kit is a little bit too basic for what you are after. But for the casual kind of car cleaner, I would definitely recommend this kit. So it's about 22 pounds, and I think that would be 22 pounds well spent. Uh, my favorite product out of the kit has to be the Active Super Cleaner, purely because um, I find it to be very versatile. I, I like the fact you can use it on exterior or interior, and it does come in very handy, particularly when I'm filming a car to review, and there are some bits which are, some bits of the car which are a little bit dirty and would look ugly on camera, or if I need to clean a window to apply, um, to stick a GoPro onto. So this product uh, really comes in handy and pretty much pays for itself. Well, not literally, that would be lovely. Mind you, this kit was um, uh, bought for me as a, as a Christmas present, so it kind of did pay for itself. Well, my, my dad and my stepmom paid for it. But anyway, I digress. Uh, my least favorite product, um, in, in my opinion, is the Spray on Shine. Purely because, um, as much as it is a relatively good substitute for a proper waxing or polishing, I do find um, that sometimes it can leave streak marks they're not massively noticeable, but yeah, I would prefer to use my uh, usual turtle wax, which yes, it takes longer to apply and it is a bit more of a faff. However, I find that the car shines a little bit more uh, after it has been applied and it doesn't leave as many streaks. So yes, I would prefer to use my turtle wax as opposed to this. However, this is a good product to use if you are either in a rush or you want to kind of top up your car's shine at a car show. So I wouldn't say this is a bad product per se. Um, it's just my least favorite. Although I'm not a massive fan of the uh, Mighty Oak air freshener. Um, so I might actually swap it out for a different one. I've got some, some inside which are quite nice. Anyway, probably time for me to wrap up this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have found it useful or, um, or informative. And if you are looking to buy this kit, uh, bottom line, yes, I would recommend it. If you have found this video useful, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you are subscribed, uh, be sure to click that bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. And if you aren't subscribed, guys, what are you waiting for? Be sure to subscribe for more car obsession.